so you stood out the second you walked up here because you don't look like a normal freshman. How did you get that body like that, and just and um, and how much pride did you take in? in, 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 in could, Coach Fritz said the first thing is you look like a senior, not a freshman. <laughs> Um, but it, it definitely took a lot of hard work. Like a, a lot of people think that, you know, it's given. I mean, some of it is genetics, but a lot of it is putting in extra work when nobody's around. You know, just coming up here, being hungry to want to get better, to want to get bigger, to want to get stronger and faster. So that's where a lot of it came from. But I take a lot of pride in it because you know I know as being a freshman, like regardless of my size. It's people bigger than me, mm -hmm. so people are gonna try to bully me, and mm -hmm. and the game is not gonna be easy. So like, knowing that I have size on my side, mm -hmm. it just makes it a little easier for me, you know, being a freshman and learning new things. Um, Darius Bradwell says he calls you mini me. <laughs> <laughs> What's your guys' relationship? Um, we're we're pretty close because you know I I looked at it today when we were in pads and mm -hmm. he was ten and I'm twenty, so it was like. You know, dang, you know, and then we're similar in size. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I look up to him as a big brother because he helps me out a lot because, you know, I'm new. So he knows the plays inside out. So I look to him for that guidance that I need and that help. And, you know, knowing it's another big back, you know, like it just it just makes me feel like a little more at ease. Is it true you were timed at 442 in the in the 40? Yes, sir. Um, that's quite the package. Um, what, how, how do you, how do you, you know, what do you feel like you're, you got speed, power, what, what do you feel like you're, what's your running style on the field? Um, I'm a bruiser. Mm -hmm. That's just, you know, I've always felt like that, and that's kind of always how I've been. You know, I've always known, been known to be physical, so, you know, that's kind of my motto. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're in front of me, it's, it's best that you need to move, because just like my high school coach told me, when the train is on the track, I want to get off. You didn't have quite as many carries last year as the year before. Were you hurt at all, or is it just you guys were really good? Because I, with, with your ability, I mean, you had a huge year, but you didn't even have 200 carries. Um, um, I got hurt in the middle of the season. And I had a torn meniscus, okay. so the coaches were kind of, you know, holding me back a little bit because they didn't want to, they didn't want it to be worse than what it was. So I wasn't, I wasn't mad at it, but you know, at the same time, I was like. You know, this is my senior year. I want to give it all I have, and you know, but I took the responsibility on myself because I was given the option to have surgery. You know, once I found out that it was torn, but I wouldn't, I wasn't gonna leave my team like that. So I took it upon myself to just wait and just fight through it and deal with it. What a lot of depth at running back, but what are your goals for this year? Uh, my goals this year is just play my role. You know. Um, not gonna take practice lightly, not gonna take workouts lightly, and just try to work my way up the ladder, you know, as time goes on, just like anybody else would. So, you know, you have to, when you're in a new environment and, you know, you're learning a whole new system, you have to, you have to be willing to learn more. Like, you have to want to learn more so that once you get out here, it'll be easier to you. So if that means going in the field room, film room and putting in extra time just watching film and, you know, watching your assignments, then that means you need to do it because, you know, the coaches are going to go over it, but it's up to you that you, you know, kind of understand it and go through it on your own.